Though Nigerian government has announced its intentions to lift the ban on Twitter by sending out conditions for which it would be done, some of which are that Twitter must have an office and official headquarters in Nigeria. As of today, we, do, we are not aware of any Twitter representative in Nigeria. And uh, we said that that representative shall be a staff of Twitter, but it must be one that has access to the global management of Twitter so that he will not, uh, so that he can serve as a liaison between uh, Nigeria and uh, Twitter so they will be able to, uh, 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 the country representative should, should also have a physical office address to Nigeria. I must say that it's a matter of days rather than weeks, hopefully, right? Uh, I, I hope in a few weeks time or a few days time we should be able to reach an agreement uh, with, uh, with Twitter. Uh, there are many, I think we just have about three or four, about three areas really, uh, where we have this, uh, disagreement. And even those areas, not really disagreement, it's more about when would they do it. For instance, I look at the issue of office. Well, they are saying that uh, probably it will be between 2022 that we can have an office in Nigeria. Those are the small gray areas that we are. We are working on. But the situation is surrounded by various uncertainties as the authorities of the microblogging site in a statement said they are yet to agree on a deal with the Nigerian government. Matina Osarwe, VOS TV News.